Hello everybody and welcome back to Thornton Farm. So, as you can see, I'm driving in a Ford 6640 I think it is. Yes, and it's a two wheel drive. And basically somebody just sent me the link to this and said, oh, your, your tractor's just been uploaded to um, the internet. And I thought, what? I have got a tractor. And then uh, I looked and it said that somebody's modified a Ford tractor and they've stuck like two logos in the front windscreen. Mine and LNC Gaming's, I think it says. Um, so yeah, it, it's got Dagwin's logo in the window, which I thought, oh, fair enough, that's nice. That's a nice thing to have. So um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly who the author is for this. I don't want to be using it too much, maybe, in case it's been uploaded without permission. But I thought, yeah, let's just bring it into an episode and we might as well use it. So yeah, the job today is uh, to, well, to do some work with the pigs as usual. And uh, then at some point, probably in the next couple of days, we'll be doing the uh, potato harvest. So, yeah, what we're going to do first of all is take this over to the other yard. We're going to get the manure trailer, or the trailer which I've been using to transport the manure to the fields. And if it's got something in it, then, um, yeah, I'll probably just put it in a placeable heap or something like that. We'll wash it out quickly, and then we're going to put some potatoes in there, or sugar beet, because we do need to give the... Uh, the cows and the pigs some some root crops. So, oh yes, somebody has done a poo in it. Right, so this is probably uh, too big for the tractor, but it's fairly dry, so we shouldn't need any uh, extra traction from the four-wheel drive. We'll just take this over to a field, actually. I put a placeable heap somewhere. Which field am I going to work on? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, possibly the agroforestry field, actually. I would like to replant it before the end of this. So, if we, oh, we've only got like 3%, I probably could have mucked them out a bit more. Oh well. Uh, oh well, it doesn't matter at all. We'll just tip it, and then we'll be able to use it for the sugar beet. Yes, it is sugar beet, not potatoes. I was using this Ford pack on a taste of Donegal, and I probably should use it again. I've got a modified version. I don't know if that version was ever released to the public, so it might be just me with it. And basically, it fixed the rocking issue. But I should think, I should think it probably was edited and then published. Uh, anyway, uh, we need to get a placeable heap, which is in placeables. And I think it's at the end. Yes, it is. Oh, we're moving. I'll put it here. And we'll begin the very small manure heap, which will eventually be spread onto this field. There we go. That was literally it. Not much at all. Anyway, these trees are doing so well. I'm looking forward to doing them. We're going to be um, using the chipper. We're going to chip these trees because when it comes to just stacking logs, I'm absolutely terrible. So I'm not going to put you through that torture. We'll do something I'm actually half good at. So that would be a lot better. But that will probably be a couple of weeks yet. It will be before the release of FS17, but it will be after the potato harvest. So. We've got to prioritise that first. Anyway, we're not going to need too many sugar beets. We're just going to need a few. They didn't really take much silage either. So we'll put it underneath the conveyor. And um, yeah, I think if we stop it at about 50%, that was 42, 50, yeah, 53, that'll do. Then hopefully that'll be the right amount. Oh, mud, mud, don't get stuck. Good Ford, you, you didn't get stuck, but I crashed it instead. Out of interest, I wonder how easily it does get stuck. This is a stupid thing to do. But I just want to see, because it is only two-wheel drive. It seems to be flicking mud off the front wheels like it is four-wheel drive. Maybe they just are by default. That performed really well. It seems better than four-wheel drive tractors. I don't think it would be the same in real life. Anyway, let's just take this over to the farm. Interestingly, on the inspector mod, it says this is the uh, Bura, I think it's pronounced, 6135A. 
So it must be based on that, I'm, I'm assuming. It's a fun tractor and it's really fast. Probably faster than it ever would be in real life. I don't know. This is like got a 50k gearbox or something. But it's certainly a fun whiz about tractor. With promo things in the windscreen. So that one there is for... Is this the uh, cow? I think this is the cow was this side. How much will they require? Yeah, we should be okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we're tipping a sugar bait, but we're getting potatoes there. You can use either, because both are root crops, so it just turns out I went for the wrong one for the texture. And this side, I can't help but go fast with this. It's so fast. It's like the horsepower has been increased to about 400 horsepower or something. It probably has actually. It's probably been so edited. And we'll finish it off. Whoa, that was quick. Really quick. But my guess was okay. We've only got 15% left. So uh, what we could do is fill it up to the top and then go and sell a trailer load because it is so fast, this tractor. Yeah, just remember, I didn't wash the trailer out between the manure and the sugar beets, but I suppose it's only going to the cows and the pigs. They probably will still care, though. And, and you can probably spread diseases that way, too. Uh, in fact, we probably should invest in, a, in another pressure washer at the top yard there. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll fill it up and then we'll sell one load. I don't think there is another sell point for this. I think it all just goes to the same shop. But I will check first. Otherwise we could be doing ourselves out of pocket here. Right. Phil. Good. No. Phil. Where are the sell points for this? Uh, no. This one. Uh, Sugar Beet. Sugar Beet is here. Blue Sphere Store is the one we know about. And that is it. It is literally just the Blue Sphere store. Uh, so, that's just the way it is. We'll have to take it to there. And that has depleted the storage. I thought we had more than that, but clearly we don't. But at least we've given what we need to to the, uh, the pigs and the cows at the top there, so they should be okay for the rest of this series. There is no point storing something we're never going to use. I wonder if this tractor's got working indicators. Let's have a look. It does. Yeah. So it all works as it should do. I think it is just basically um, an edited version from the Ford pack. And then obviously it's had different front wheels put on it. Whoa. And uh, I, I think, I'm pretty sure it's got an increased horsepower because it just seems so fast and it can accelerate with weight so quickly. It's like a racing car, it's like a sports tractor or something. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna test this. Let's just go up to this bridge. That is where I usually turn off. We'll stop on the bridge and we'll do like a hill start kind of thing. And see how easily it can accelerate with weight. Right. 0 to 31. Yeah, oh, oh. Okay, forget the racing. It's clearly not a racing tractor with me at the wheel. It probably is with an expert. Um, but yeah, I think we can clearly see there that it has got very good acceleration. It's a good tractor, um, but probably not a realistic tractor because of the amount of horsepower it's got. Let's join the queue. Some people say, why do you never look left and right? I usually do, um, but you can usually guess, and I probably shouldn't do this, but you can usually guess when there is going to be another car. Because they tend to be, they tend to either travel on their own or in blocks of two. That's what I've noticed. So there was two then, so the chances are there wasn't going to be another one. But I suppose you can get it wrong. So this is going to be minimal, not much at all. 
Uh, by the way, it'll probably be fun to fun tomorrow as well. I think it would uh, flow a bit better if I did more than one episode every few days. Super tractor. Right, so that's probably enough fun with the super tractor. It is fun, and it's, it's a nice little, uh, nice little touch that the author has put on here. Um, in fact, I don't, I don't think it was the author of the tractor who did the, the logos, but can't remember. Still good though. This can be our manure carting tractor. We'll just park it in the yard, and whenever we muck out the cows, it can be there to take the load of poo. Which actually, we were short on the tractor for that, because that is a, a brilliant job for it. You don't need four-wheel drive, usually, unless it's very muddy. And yeah, we need the tractor to just sort of sit around with a trailer continually. So perfect. If you want to download this tractor, there is actually a link. It's on a number of websites. What tends to happen with the farming simulator community is as soon as one mod is released, even if it says do not upload anywhere else, all the mod sites just go and take it. Well, actually, no, no, I tell a lie. No, that's not fair. Not all the mod sites. Some of them are very genuine, but there are some other mod sites who will just immediately upload it despite it saying do not upload. Um, now, I find the most trustworthy one is FSUK. I try and use FSUK as much as possible, but there are other trustworthy ones out there as well. I don't think this was off FSUK though. I don't think it's on there. Right, so this can go here. Cows don't need to be mucked out, I don't think. Just leave it there. We'll turn the engine off and, oh, and the beacon. Mustn't forget the beacon. And finally, we need to go back to the top yard with, we need total mix ration. That is a priority. What is that? Oh, that's the front weight. We'll reset it. It'll only get knocked onto the road. Right, so the uh, potatoes are virtually ready. Like three squares are on the final growth stage. Uh, the rest of it's ready. Um, but yes, the pigs do require, well, they've got their earth fruits. They've got silage, they've got water. They need straw, they need grain, and they really need total mix ration as a priority. So where is my feed mixer? Do we have a feed mixer? I think we do, but I can't remember. I have to check. Okay, we don't. That's not good. Um, yes, I haven't used this self propellant for ages. I would like to use it, but yeah, I think I will do. <laughs> I'm gonna just go and do the rental thing. We'll rent it for a day. In fact, that'll probably bring us to the end of the series anyway. Right, quad bike, where are you? We need to get up to the store. We're not teleporting. No, no teleporting. It never looks good unless teleporting becomes the future, or becomes something which is common, which will be in the future. Here it is. Yeah, I'm blabbering on about rubbish again. I usually do that. Here we go. Let's floor it to the store. Uh, somebody asked me in a comment yesterday or two days ago about that compact tractor there. They said, have you increased the speed and the power? No, I haven't. I will be doing though because we don't need it at the moment, so there's no point doing it yet, but when I do, next time I use it properly, I will have done it, hopefully, unless it doesn't work, of course, but it should do. We'll probably just put the, ha the horsepower on it from like the Deutz farm or something, because it works, it doesn't make it uncontrollable, and then you get the speed as well. So I have now released the very first video in my series of restoring the Kubota B2100 compact tractor in real life. Uh, that is on my other channel, Machinery Restorer. Um, so if you want to see that series, then you can do. The first video is out. The rest of the restoration is going to be started in about a month or two. Uh, just got other stuff to sort out. And then of course there is FS17. I'm going to be doing loads and loads of videos, so that will be taking up my time, most of my time. Uh, so yeah, just sort of, um, it's going to be late, well, mid-winter project sort of thing. Great, that's just what I want, a mid-winter project to be absolutely frozen with no heated workshop. I suppose it's all part of the fun. Right, so this is, um, 
something which you probably use all the time, and I have used it in multiplayer, but in single player, I think, that, well, I'm, I always say this, I always say the last time I used this was in whatever, and then somebody corrects me and says, no, you only used it like three weeks ago. So I won't say that, but I don't think I have used it in single player for a very long time. So this is going to be a great opportunity for this. Um, but I do like using it. It's much easier and quicker because obviously you can just suck up the silage. You don't have to load it up with a, a bucket. But we do still have to put the hay and the straw in. We definitely have straw. As for the hay, where is the hay? Do we have any? I hope we do, otherwise this would be an absolute waste of time. Well, here we are. Um, we'll suck up... Actually, no, we probably shouldn't put the silage in first because otherwise it makes it much harder to work out how much you need. A lot of people just say one hay, one straw, rest silage. Some people say two hay, and then a lot of silage, and then possibly one straw, but it's up to you. All actually work exactly the same. So it's personal preference, but I should think a lot of people who do it in real life will be basing it on real life experiences of what you do. So, uh, we'll block this in because we don't need to get that out. We'll turn the engine off and obviously I do need to try and work out whether or not we have hay bales. This is the problem with doing it multiple series at the same time. Because I get confused and I forget what we've actually got. We definitely have straw, no doubt about it. Yeah, there's the straw. I should probably stop jumping this wall. We'll go around this way. Uh, yeah. Straw. Oh, what the? Oh, no, that is hay. No, that is straw. Yes, for some weird reason it thought it was hay. Um, I hope we don't have to use them as a substitute for hay because that would just be stupid. Do we really not have any? I'm amazed. I've never done hay. Wow. I tell you what we need. We need viable bales. And Bible Bales is what we shall have, because I have just downloaded the Bible Bales mod. So I haven't actually seen it before, so I don't know where it would be. Probably miscellaneous, I'm assuming. Yes. And the problem with this is they're not cheap, obviously, because because we don't make them ourselves, we have to pay the premium of somebody else manufacturing them for us. Well, manufacturing, producing them out of the hay which they're getting off, or out of the grass they're getting off their field. So we don't want to be going too far with this. I think probably just one stack will be absolutely fine for what we need. Um, but the thing is we need we need round bells because they're easier to put into the, the into the uh, mixer. So again it's going to cost £300 more. This is an expense but without going too technical here I suppose the farm can offset their tax with it if you want to look at it that way. But yes, uh, that is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go... How are the... Um, I don't know how they're actually stacked. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to get them if we just take a trailer and the JCB. So we'll take the JCB's grab off there. And uh, we'll head up to the shop. Yeah, this has got four gears, I think. Yes, it does. Four gears, this one. We'll have to buy a bale spike as well. I'm hoping that the trailer will fit to this. I'm hoping that the uh, hitch is the same as a tractor's hitch, but I've had the issue before where some trailers won't fit to some tractors and vice versa with the telehandlers, so uh, let's just hope. I think it does actually, I think it does fit. Yeah, good. Can we reverse back anymore? Mm, slightly, not too much. Right, so, we've got that free of there, let's accelerate and go over to the shop, and then we'll be able to load them up. Actually, is this the auto stacking trailer? It is, this trailer does auto stack. Um, I'm only saying that because we need to strap them on. As for the loading, we won't just drive up to it and then they magically appear, we will put them on roughly, and then we'll strap them on properly. Our sheeps! Our sheeps! Hello sheep. I've neglected them too. They, they could really do with some grass or something. I don't know what ever happened with me, me on this map, but for some weird reason, 
I started off okay, and then I think I think what the issue was with saw mod, I concentrated the crops so hard on the saw mod side of things that I totally forgot about the livestock, and that is why they are such a mess. So this is our opportunity to really focus on the livestock and sort them out. How are we doing? If we were doing okay, good. Bell spike should be fine for this job. Ah, there they are. Right, so that's easy enough. At least it should be. Let's put the uh, indicator off. Turn the indicator off. Reverse in a bit. We'll drop it off there. And, yeah, I think probably just if we rent the uh, spike, that would be the easiest thing. Just for, oh, it's only going to cost £2.37. That's alright. Because we only need them here and over at the other yard. Let's just drop the gear down a bit. There's the quad bike. So, uh, never been a good, or no, never been a strong point this, not at all. I am terrible at bales. You probably don't need me to tell you that. If we can um, try and do this without demolishing everything, then that would be very good. That surprisingly went okay. Amazingly. Right, we're in way too high a gear. So as I've learned from other players, um, the best thing to do here is to send it straight through to the other side. And then you don't have to keep going around both sides of the trailer. Right. Come on, please. No! Always does this. It's okay, though, because we will be strapping them on. They'll be fine. Um... I suppose it does make it easier when they're already stacked very neatly. Usually when I'm doing it, they're not square at all. Well, you know what I mean. They're not sort of aligned. Uh, let's go for the, the next step up, because otherwise I'm going to knock these ones over. Right, I, it's okay, I won't, I won't bore you with this for too long. I'll do a lot of this off screen, I think. Because it, it's going to get... It's going to get messy. Yeah, I suppose that could have gone worse, but it wasn't great. Right, so if I can just get these two on, i put the other four on off screen, and hopefully I don't knock the other two off doing this. For all the experts out there, you must think, oh no, Dagwin's doing bales again. Don't let him do that. That actually went okay. The final two. Ah, oh, one's fallen off. Well, it was sort of predicted to do that. It was inevitable. Right. So, with um, those, well, it's like six of them are okay. I suppose for me, that's that's not too bad. But we're about to see them be strapped on perfectly, which is what I like to see. Oh! Right, so all we have to do is change the product type to hay round bells, then press B, and they're done. Nice and neat. So, with that done and out of the way, we're going to now head over to the main yard and finally do the mixed ration. Now we need to go right out of here. But again, clearly today we're not going to finish off doing the work with the pigs. Um, whenever I do this, it always takes me forever. So 
Uh, we'll just have to do a little bit every episode along with other stuff as well. So at least we've done the things which are the most priority. Next time we'll have to shred a few straw bales which is easy enough, that won't take too long. And um, there was one other thing as well, I think. What was it? There was definitely something else. Yes, the grain. So next time we'll finish it off with the straw and the grain and then they'll finally be finished. And we'll be able to just let them get on with it until the end and then at the end we'll sell them. We'll sell the animals over at the auction house. So here comes our delivery of hay bales which we've had to buy. But it's a good alternative, very good. If that mod had never been released, what would I have just done? I suppose we'd have to get the mower out and do all the baling and stuff. It would taken forever. We would never have finished the pigs. And they'll probably be dead by the end of it. It's more than likely. Okay, so that is done. Let's drop it off. Actually, I don't think you can remove the straps when you've detached it, so we'll have to do that first of all. We need to change the unloading position to do this, so if we go back on this menu, we should be able to see that it says unload products and then you need to toggle the unload side by pressing M. It could have already been, yes I think it is actually, press over there, yeah. Brilliant. So we'll put, I think probably just one in for the time being, I don't know. Two hay and just silage to the top does work very well. Straw isn't actually needed. It's like, I think it's to pad it out more. Oh, look at that. There we go. So we'll put this in. Thing is, this might be a bigger mixer than the trailed one. So it will be more. That one is 18,000 litres. This one is 12,000 litres. Okay. Right, so that's me proven wrong. Just the one then. And then, we'll, we'll, we will put one straw in, I think. It, it's the best thing to do for today because we've got a lot of straw. We might as well use it. And those hay bales weren't exactly cheap, so padding it out is quite a good solution. Right, come here hay bales, straw bales, whatever you are. You seem to be called both things. It's the round ones we're going for, which means that the little square ones are in the way. We only need one, but even getting one could prove quite difficult. Right, so just one. Yes. We'll put that into the mix. Don't fall off, naughty bale. Right then, so that is on a lot better. It's actually slipped right down two of the forks or the prongs, so that's good. Should never fly off. We'll put this in the mix and then we'll use the sucking up thing on the front. I think it's a vacuum sucking thing. I don't know the exact terminology for it. Um, that'll fill it up to the top basically and we'll be able to uh, get a full load without using too much hay. So here goes. Fantastic. That looks like it's over. Yes, it is. 66% full. So really, if you look at it this way, it's one straw, one uh, hay and one silage, which is what a lot of people always say. You're right. Oh, controls are so backwards on this thing. To me. I always think that they're backwards because I'm so used to that Merlot for some reason. Anyway, yeah, it's a nice machine. Nice machine. Um, yes, yeah, so if we move the case out of the way. It's alright, I'm not talking down to you, I'm talking down to myself. Yes, I call, I call it a Volvo. Yesterday or two days ago when I did it was uh, not a good day. I was so tired, I don't know why, but today I'm not tired at all. So that is the reason why I called it a Volvo, and I think probably most of the people who watched the video picked me up on it. So, thank you for that. 
I did actually read the first comment which said it, but oh well. I suppose it rubs it in a bit more. Right, here we go then. Let's fill this up to the top. So we've got like the... Um, oh, I don't know the name of it. I really don't. Oh, it's not suction then. It's got like flails in there. Let's fill to the top. And now all we have to do is take it to the animals and give them their fair share. But the chances are they're not going to take all this because we don't really have that many. So in the end this is actually a better method of doing it than the trailed one. Because we're renting it so it's cost less in the first place and the capacity is less so we wouldn't have had as much left over at the end. Next thing would be, we need to work out which side it unloads, because before I've tipped it on the ground, it did accept it, but it just doesn't look very good. Okay, the pigs are on this side, I'm pretty sure I said the cows are on this side. Anyway, here you go pigs, hopefully it works. You. Okay, we'll do it this side. We've got to make this look at least half decent. Brilliant, it's actually going in the trough. You wouldn't have thought it was too much to ask for, but it really is. I suppose you can't select which side it's going to unload, so it does make it quite difficult. Right, and finally, this lot here. Can we see it? Oh, we can kind of see it from in the cab. And it took next to nothing, because we've got barely any. But we we have finally given the cows and the pigs some total mixed ration. I know who can have the rest the cows down here. That seems to be a general theme. Whenever, well, whatever's left from up there, the cows down here, the milking cows, get leftovers. That's a pretty good deal, really. So, we'll just drive around here, open up the gate, and we'll give them what's left. Oh! Park this in the way. Right, there we go. Back into the feed mixer. It should fit, but I can't guarantee the side it's going to unload on. Uh, yeah, this side, good. And I think they'll take all of this. The milking cows always take a lot. There we go. So we are done. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. It's been a bit manic, but it is done, and we are virtually well, we're two thirds of the way to completing the work on the pigs and the beef cows. These cows just get everything, so these will be really productive. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and please join me next time for more Thornton Farm. Until then, thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.